Hi, in this video we're going to use a count if statement and that count if statement is going to total the number of males and females that have completed the questionnaire. This can be used to analyze gender feedback. So uh, in order to understand what's going on, I'm going to take you back to the cleanse data sheet. So you can see that in my gender column, I have F for female and M for male. And if I select the whole column, you'll notice that I've named this uh, range of cells called gender. So I'm not going to be using cell references. Again, I'm going to be using a named range. So I'm going to go back onto my analysis sheet and the count if statement works like this. Equals count if. So it's only going to count if it matches a condition. I'm going to open a bracket. The range is the named range that I've already given in my uh, in my cleanse data sheet, which was gender. Okay, that's not gender. Gender, comma, and then my criteria is either F for female or M for male. So uh, because it's a string, I need to put it in speech marks. So shift and two gives you the speech marks. I'm going to type in. Uh, M for male, close the speech marks, close the bracket. And what that should do then is count the number of times that M appears in that range. So it appears 50 times. So because there's 100, female should be uh, the same amount of times. So again, equals count if, open a bracket, gender, comma, comma, open speech marks, F female, close the speech marks, close the bracket, enter. So I've got 50-50 uh, gender feedback from my survey. So that's how you use count if to analyze um, results, uh, specifically in this case for gender.